So, hi, welcome back to this lab section of hyperparameter tuning. Now, we are going to load a data set from our scikit-learn library itself. That's a diabetes uh, data set. And we are not going to waste a lot of time on EDN stuff. Directly, we are going to implement a random forest regression model. Look into uh, what we are getting, uh, what kind of results we are getting out of it, and then apply grid search and random search. Let's uh, start. So first of all, what we'll do is we will import the libraries. What are the needed libraries? First of all, let's import our data set from scikit-learn data set import uh, load diabetes. Okay. Our data set has been imported. Let's import from uh, pandas. Import pandas as pd and import numpy as np. That's it. Now, the next thing is let's uh, load a class of this data. Let's look into what's in the data, uh, data set. Okay. So mm, let's import the data load diabetes in a class let's do ld let's look into ld ld is the data along with that see we have x this is the x and this is the y if you want to look into any specific let's uh, put uh, the feature names what are the feature names so these are the feature names age sex bmi blood pressure s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 okay you can check the uh, other features too Okay, uh, we have the target file name too. You can get the file name wherever it is located yet. Okay, and the other things, whatever you want, ld dot uh, target. Okay, these are the target values. So we know what we are dealing with. Let's not waste a lot of time on the EDA part as this was a loaded data set and most of the data are cleaned out. So what we are going to do is we are going to directly load the data into X and Y. So let's take x comma y and uh, let's name this at load the data set. Uh, yeah, load the data set. Okay, and now let's load it out. Load diabetes and inside of this i have something which is known as return x and y so it will just return the value of x and y nothing else so return at x and y i will just make it true and let's check the value of x you see x what we have x is an array containing all the x values and y are the uh, corresponding y values the target values now let's import train test split so from sklearn dot model model selection we are going to import a uh, train test split okay next thing that we need to do is uh, break it out okay. so let's do train test split again the same thing that i do i'll just copy out the example from here paste it out over here Oops. remove what I don't need so I have x and y uh, let's break it out to this itself okay 33 percent of a data set and let's keep the random state at uh, 42 itself now the next thing that uh, I should be doing is train my model okay let's train our model Quite the same thing that we did previously okay train our model and what i'm going to do is i am going to create rf regressor is equal to random oh. before that i need to import the model okay. let me import it so our model is from sklearn from sklearn dot 
assemble import random forest regressor as we are doing the regression task okay and then we have rf regressor equals to let's create a class out of this so random forest let's keep the random state as 101 okay and now let's fit the model uh, let's fit the model let's fit the model extreme with y train y train okay so we have fitted out the model x train and y train okay the next thing that we need to do is do the prediction and check out the results what is the mae msc and the rmsc score let's do the prediction and evaluation part okay now uh let's create a variable y thread y thread what it will store is rf regression dot predict all the predicted values for x test so we have y thread now which are uh, which is having all the values predicted values and now we need to evaluate the model so from sk learn import matrix and now let's find out msc mae and rmsc score so i'm going to do is print the let's, do, let's use f string over here mae mean absolute error mean absolute error is equal to side of this i will just write matrix dot and over here we have uh let's say mean absolute error and we are going to pass y test and y red let's check if uh have a error over here so basically where, where we went wrong was yeah so uh, it will be inverted. so we have the mae value similarly we are going to get the rmsc that is root mean square error and the mean square error so let's find out the mean square first msc the same thing i'm gonna use i'm gonna from matrix i'm going to call the mean square the mean square error and i'm going to pass y test inside of it along with y red okay. got the same thing over here okay so we are getting the root mean square also let's do the same thing for root mean square rmsc and for matrix uh i think we don't have root mean square inside of this okay so what i'll do is i'll calculate it manually how to do it manually so what i'll do npsqrt okay basically the square root uh it's the square root error of msc only so we are going to pass matrix basically uh, i'll just pass this one Whatever I have inside of this, the square root of this will give me the answer. Oops. So yeah, we get MAE that is the mean absolute error as this, MSC and RMSC as this. Now you see the solution is okay, but not the best solution we can get. So now in the next part of uh, next video, what we are going to do is we are going to implement grid search and look into how we can get better results out of it. So let's directly jump into the next video.